The largest exhibition of the latest tech just wrapped up in Las Vegas. Yeah, baby. For over half a century, the Consumer Electronics Show, or CIS, has showcased the creme de la creme of gadgets, from fantastic and useful to useless and plain weird. And as always, we got our eyes on the prize. Let's get it. Let's kick things off with what might be the most talked about innovation of C's 2025, the jumping car. Forget traditional wheels and suspension systems. This AI-enhanced vehicle is built to leap over obstacles, literally. This car combines advanced robotics with cutting-edge artificial intelligence to analyze the terrain in real time. Imagine you're driving in a congested city or on a rough off-road trail and a sudden obstacle blocks your path. Instead of waiting or taking a detour, the jumping car calculates the safest and most efficient trajectory and hops right over it. Its creators envision it as a game-changer for urban traffic management and emergency situations. The AI not only predicts obstacles, but also ensures safety, stabilizing the car's landing with precision that feels like something out of a video game. This innovation could redefine transportation, blending agility, efficiency, and intelligence into one futuristic ride. Now, where would we be without robot pets? The company Ropit is betting its only product to compete for the prize of a man's second best friend this year. This plush-covered baby can recognize human emotions and actions, as well as adapt to new ones through training. The robot is equipped with visual and auditory sensors integrated with artificial intelligence technology to give more life to their creation. The developers made Ropit warm. Its body has a temperature of a bit under 100 Fahrenheit or 37 Celsius, which, coupled with the cutesy animal behavior, creates the sensation of communicating with a living being. For example, the robot may want a hug, especially if it sees that the owner is sad or it can mimic hunger, prompting its owner to feed it. Toy Fruit Rope It also memorizes the objects it meets and reacts to them accordingly the next time it sees them again. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang brought the house down with his foundational AI model, Cosmos. Apparently, it helps robots and autonomous vehicles to understand the physical world. According to the man, Cosmos is, quote, a chachpult moment for robotics, end quote. The new platform got over 20 million hours of real footage training under its belt, mostly people walking hand movements and just hand movements. Quote, it's not about generating creative content. It's about training the AI to understand the physical world. End quote from Jensen Huang, adding that models like Cosmos could give robots far superior capabilities than now. Nvidia says quite a few companies are already using Cosmos, ranging from robot manufacturers such as Agility and Figure AI, a drone car developers such as Uber, Warby, and Wave. Along with Cosmos, the company announced Project Digits. This is a $3,000 personal AI supercomputer powered by NVIDIA's new GB10 Grace Blackwell chip, combined with 128 GB of memory and up to 4 terabytes of storage. Project Digits is as small as current desktop computers, but it has enough processing power to run complex AI models with 200 billion parameters and perform a quadrillion calculations per second. But wait, why would you need a nuclear reactor to run it? Uh, no, just an outlet. So, in the words of Samuel L. Jackson, hold on to your butts, since this bad boy goes on sale already in May. One of the more interesting robots at CES 2025 was R22 from California-based Open Droids. So far, it's not as cute as everyone's favorite droid from Star Wars, but it may soon become at least as useful. The robot can already do a lot of things to be the super assistant that costs 40 big ones. Her 2D2 can navigate to a desired location, and its pair of mechanical arms can allegedly do laundry, put away dishes, make you a smoothie, scoop ice cream, or dispense your medication. Next on the list is a technology that's both heartwarming and revolutionary wearable robots designed to help disabled individuals walk again. Picture this, someone who hasn't walked in years takes their first steps, not with crutches or wheelchairs, but with a robotic exoskeleton that moves seamlessly with their body. These wearable robots, revealed at CSU 2025, are powered by advanced AI systems that adapt to the user's body and specific needs. 
The exoskeleton not only provides physical support, but also learns the user's walking patterns over time, offering a truly personalized experience. The suits are lightweight, stylish, and easy to use, making them a viable option for everyday wear. They are expected to transform rehabilitation and improve the quality of life for millions of people worldwide. For families and caregivers, this tech offers new hope. Think you've seen it all when it comes to home theaters and projectors? Think again. Since 2025 introduced a 3D projector that doesn't just show movies, it immerses you in them. This next general projector uses AI-driven algorithms to create realistic 3D visuals without requiring glasses or additional equipment. It works by analyzing spatial data and projecting holographic images into the environment, making it feel like the action is happening right in your living room. Gamers, prepare to have your minds blown. Imagine stepping into a virtual battlefield or exploring an open-world RPG where the characters and landscapes seem to pop out of thin air. For businesses, this tech opens up new possibilities for presentations, product launches, taking engagement to a whole new level. Color-changing glasses, a fusion of fashion and tech. Color-changing glasses that are as stylish as they are smart. These aren't your typical sunglasses. They're equipped with AI-powered sensors that detect environmental light, your mood, or even the clothes you're wearing, and change color accordingly. Whether you're stepping out into the bright sun, entering a dimly lit room, or heading to a fashion-forward event, these glasses ensure you always look and feel your best. But they don't stop at aesthetics. The glasses also come with R capabilities, allowing you to receive notifications, directions, and even weather updates directly in your field of vision. The tech combines practicality with fun, appealing to both fashion enthusiasts and tech lovers alike. C's 2025 attendees couldn't stop talking about this simple yet brilliant innovation that blends style and technology seamlessly, and BMW brought its a game to this year's C's. The panoramic iDrive system, first appearing in NOAA-class electric cars, it will soon be introduced in all BMW's panoramic iDrive features, three display levels working in tandem, a new design for steering wheel controls, and an animated AI voice assistant. The top three display on the car's windshield is projected onto the driver's field of view. Live navigation information is combined with lane guidance, turn previews, and other information to assist the driver. The display below that extends from pillar to post so it can be seen by everyone in the car. Almost identical to the panoramic projector in the company's newest sedans, it integrates a digital panel with speed, range, and battery information. Obviously, Everything can be customized below the dash. A main touchscreen display helps control other functions of the infotainment system, and tying all the functions together is, of course, the AI Assistant. It's basically a large language model, and it can be used for navigation and other features. And Pollen Robotics has brought the next generation of its Ritchie 2 humanoid robot to the show. The robot is fully open source, allowing users to control it remotely or via Python. Interestingly, the company has already managed to sell around 100 of these things. Get in line, folks. And Xenon brought its six-wheeled minivan to assess from China. Its main feature is that it serves as an aircraft carrier for a modular flying vehicle. The ground module, due to the presence of a hybrid propulsion system, is able to travel up to 600-something miles or 1,000 kilometers without recharging or refueling but the range of the electric flying vehicle with six propellers and vertical takeoff and landing is still unknown. The company has already received more than 2,000 pre-orders for the car, production of which will begin in 2026. In the meantime, Zupan is currently building a factory for their innovative product. Moving on, a surprising no-show from Optimus figure Neo. But here's Aria from Real Biotics. Developers say the robot uses generative AI to communicate with the user in real time and has social skills as a core strength on its resume. Journalists who have managed to talk to the robot say that in conversation, Aria gives the impression of attentiveness with a dash of intoxication, which makes sense since Aria kept talking about how hot Optimus is and what a shame it couldn't make it to the show. The robot answers with a slight delay, makes small breaks in long sentences, and tries to reinforce the speech with body and hand movements. Aria has a total of 17 motors in its neck and face, and if you don't like the way it looks, you can choose a different design or change the hairstyle. 
The company is now working on getting the robot to recognize which face from the catalog it has on right now so it can adjust facial expressions and even personality to match it. Real Botox got three versions of the robot a bus with a head for 10,000 bucks, a modular version for 150 big ones, and a still standing model for $175,000. Another high roller, Samsung brought its Bali home robot back to this year's consumer electronics show. Except for a tiny caveat. The robot is now a commercial product and will go on sale later this year. It's a pity, of course, that the company decided to launch a robot ball instead of a robot butler, but we all realize that the time for this technology is just not yet here. And what special things can the robot ball do besides while rolling around? Samsung has equipped the device with a projector that can broadcast information and content to various surfaces, and in addition to voice control, Ball also recognizes when you press a virtual button to clarify your wishes. Is that neat or what? Now, the brightest concept car at the exhibition was the Solar E for Aptera. This beast runs entirely on solar energy and does not require connection to an outlet. According to the developers, the solar panels of the car which cover almost the entire body, are so efficient that you get 40 miles or 65 kilometers per day. The car is designed super light and aerodynamic. For example, the shape of the body made of carbon fiber should help it to disperse air with a resistance of about 70% less than that of a conventional small electric car. Solar Eve is designed for only two passengers, and Rifter unveiled the world's first flying scooter quadcopter. The Skyrider Zone lets you travel both on the ground and in the air. The device promises 40-minute flights at a speed of about 60 miles, or 100 km. At the same time, it's reported to be equipped with advanced safety features and autonomous navigation. In particular, the Skyrider Egg Zone is equipped with an automatic parachute in case of electronic failure, autonomous takeoff and landing systems, as well as the ability to independently plan a route for safe movement in the air. The media immediately dubbed the device the first flying motorcycle. What do you guys think of this? Is it worth the 60k price tag? Or should we all just get a Yamaha? Let us know in the comments.